Hello everyone and welcome back to my new video. You are watching Motivated Investing and now let's get in this video. Only two months after its launch, Miami Coin, the native crypto for the city of Miami, has generated $10 million in revenue. The coin is powered by CityCoin, using its programmable blockchain stacks. The $10 million is an extra revenue stream for the city government that can be utilized to improve the city's infrastructure. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez has been trying to formulate ways in which the city could be turned into a crypto hub for the U.S. Earlier this year, Suarez said that the city was planning to pay government employees their salaries in Bitcoin and also allow citizens to pay city taxes using the cryptocurrency. Suarez has now stated that, that the city will put forth a formal proposal to make those promises a reality later this month. Miami had earlier introduced a proposal for the city to be able to invest in Bitcoin, but Florida limitations don't currently allow local governments to transact in an asset that is so volatile. Suarez explained in an interview with Bloomberg, if we would have been able to hold it from the moment that I put the resolution on our agenda, it'd be up by 30 or 40 percent, so I would have looked like a genius back then, he said. But that's the way it works. Suarez remains a strong Bitcoin believer alongside other prominent cryptocurrency supporters such as Elon Musk and El Salvador President Nayib Bukel. Suarez recently slammed JP Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon for calling Bitcoin worthless. Bitcoin is definitely not worthless, Suarez stated, pointing out how rapidly the cryptocurrency's value has skyrocketed over the past year. It's gone up significantly since we last talked about it, Suarez added. Based on current trends, the world's most popular cryptocurrency's valuation has already shot by over 94% in the past year. Suarez has also highlighted the enthusiasm in the international community around the asset class. Bitcoin has been implemented as a base currency in a number of countries in Africa, Central America, and South America. Miami Native Token Mining Miami Coin is a proof-of-stake coin. One reason why it has a high mining rate and has brought in such huge revenue within a short time. The proof-of-stake mining has a programmed feature to allocate 30% of the mining revenue to a wallet owned by the city. The coin is mined by the citizens and residents of Miami who willingly donate 30% of the revenue to the state. This implies that the $10 million is only 30% of the total revenue that Mia has generated. Miami Coin generates revenue for Miami City. The Miami Coin was created after Miami City Mayor Francis Suarez birthed the idea and pitched it to the city's governing council. The council accepted the idea and put plans in motion to create the coin. Mayor Francis believes that Mia can go on to not just raise funds for the city, but also help them to pay off its tax budgets, helping citizens to stay tax-free. In a podcast with Anthony Pompliano in September, Mayor Francis had discussed the MIA project and expressed his belief that the coin will be a major part of Miami's future financial plans. According to the mayor, MIA will change the way Miami citizens donate and contribute to the city's future projects. His predictions are already coming through, seeing that MIA only started accepting donations about three weeks ago today. MIA generated $4.3 million in the first week and two weeks later, an additional $6 million that brings the total amount to just over $10 million. Miami Coin runs on Bitcoin. Anthony Pompliano believes that the Bitcoin network on which Mia is built contributes to the huge success that it is recording. Mia is built using Stacks and has a smart contract that runs on Bitcoin. Stacks makes it easy to deploy smart contracts on Bitcoin. Bitcoin, the world's first blockchain network, is a decentralized, open, and the network of truth according to Pompliano. Bitcoin plays an important role in the success of Mia as a base network that people can trust. Miami Coin is built on a second layer protocol that assures users of security and true decentralization. It also makes it easy for the city council to apportion revenue to projects across the city and give details of such transactions on the public ledger. Miami City will hope to raise more revenue from Mia and even work towards a reduction of the tax burden on its citizens. Mayor Francis is a known cryptocurrency supporter in light of the growing crackdown and calls for regulation. It is positive news for the crypto community across the U.S. that a government official is deploying the power of cryptocurrency to drive growth and development. High Mining Activity Data has shown high mining activity for Miami Coin by the citizens of Miami, with official estimates stating that 30% of the revenue that has been generated through mining has gone to the city of Miami. This means that the $10 million given to the city is just 30% of the total revenue that has been generated through MIA mining. 
a new revenue stream for the city of Miami. The credit for creating a new revenue stream for the city goes to Miami's mayor, Francis Suarez. The mayor discussed Miami coin in a podcast with well-known crypto evangelist Anthony Pompliano and stated that Miami coin and its protocol could potentially offset the city's entire tax budget. With a phenomenal growth rate of the coin's ecosystem and protocol, Anthony Pompliano took to his Twitter handle to talk about Miami coin, stating that the city of Miami officially started accepting donations from Miami coin and its protocol only about three weeks ago and it had generated $4.3 million for the city and the further generated an additional $6 million. The revenue numbers show the high mining activity for the MIA by the citizens of MIA. As per the official announcement, 30% of the revenue through mining has gone to the city of Miami, meaning the $10 million is just 30% of the total revenue generated through MIA mining. All of these money should go towards the development of the city and the welfare of the people. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez deserves a praise for creating a new revenue stream for the city. Last week in a podcast with crypto evangelist Anthony Pompliano, Suarez said that the protocol holds the potential to completely offset the city's tax budget. The rate of growth of Miami coin ecosystem and protocol has been phenomenal. The rapidly growing Miami coin protocol. Pompliano explains that just three weeks back, the city of Miami started officially accepting donation from Miami coin's ongoing protocol. Back then it had generated $4.3 million for the city. The Miami city generated an additional $6 million in just the last three weeks. He further adds, best of all, Miami coin is built on Bitcoin through a smart contract made possible by its tax. If you're building a new type of civilization, it makes sense to settle onto Bitcoin as a base layer and ultimate ledger of truth. Public, decentralized, and immutable. Apart from this revenue, Pomp says that the city of Miami earns millions of dollars worth of BTC by stacking their earned STX. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez has been much vocal about his support for Bitcoin and crypto. Amid the China ban on Bitcoin mining, Suarez came forward to attract Bitcoin miners and give them a base to set up operations. Vocal support for BTC. The mayor of Miami has been very vocal about his support for BTC and crypto in general. He has also announced plans to make Miami the cryptocurrency hub of the United States and has thrown his full support behind Miami coin, with projections that Miami coin could generate around $60 million in the coming year. Mayor Suarez has also proposed the idea that because of the city's position as a crypto hub, Miami could eventually be tax-free for its residents. Miami's mayor has been outspoken in his support for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general. He's also revealed ambitions to make Miami the U.S.'s cryptocurrency headquarters, and he's thrown his support behind Miami Coin, which is expected to produce $60 million in the following year, according to forecasts. Mayor Suarez has also recommended that, as a result of the city's status as a crypto hub, inhabitants of Miami be tax-free in the future. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.